Okay, everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Rumble Roses as Aisha. Uh, when last you joined us, Aisha and Candy Cane uh, talked to each other, rubbed each other completely the wrong way. No sexy disintended by that comment, by the way. And now they're going to fight, which I got to say, this is the most respectable, believable uh, pre fight conversation so far. They're just both really, you know, not particularly nice people, and uh, they pissed each other off, and now they're going to fight. It raises the question of why Aisha is a face in the first place. Her uh, alternate persona is not any more or less heelish than she is. She's just kind of skankier. Um, basically, her alternate persona is the closest that this kid gets to a hooker, but she's not like an evil hooker. So why is Aisha? It's just like really kind of nasty and mean. Um, a face, and presumably it's because she's supposed to be famous, and she likes to drown schoolgirls in mud. Like, look at this move. She basically is forcing Candy Cane's face beneath the surface of the watery mud so that she'll die. Evil Rose could have used that move in her, you know, I am an evil murderer gimmick. Oh, crap. I hate it when I know a move is coming and try to counter and don't manage to counter. That was a goofy looking attack, Candy Cane. I wonder if we have the stickle stick in this. I don't think we've seen, uh. I don't think Candy Cane has, uh. laughed for us yet. Oh, I said just go all the way up. Um, do I even have a weapon? I have brass nugs. Or do I even have brass nugs? Can you not get a full complement of weapons here? Oh, and I, I just remember, there's no point in softening up the head. All of her submissions are on the legs or arm. If I want to cheat, I need to use something that softens up the legs and is a tap the buttons rapidly to escape attack. And so far, I'm not finding one. Oh, and I forgot in the last video to win with the Chris Jericho, I stand over you and do a muscle pose pin move. Oh, and she just flipped her way back into that mud. Alright, well, I'm not sure that I'm going to be able to get her to laugh with the tickle stick because I don't seem to be able to find one. But I can find an ore. Maybe I should just find something that works the arm. That works the arm, so... But it doesn't... Doesn't do the da damage I want. Ah, oh, Aisha, you suck. What? It, she really does suck in this game, and it's incredible, because in the sequel, she's a freaking monster. I mean, she really is, like, noticeably more powerful than many of the other characters in the game. Any character in that game, with the exception of the ninjas, you can pretty much win with if you know what you're doing. And even the ninjas, if you know what you're doing, you just have to... It's just a little harder than it would be with the character who doesn't suck. But man, Aisha is a freaking monster in that, and she's horrible in this. I'm making this take longer than it should, because I'm trying to do the Chris Jericho cocky pin. Which I should have just either... I couldn't get it to work in that first match, I should have given up on it. But she doesn't have any moves where... I can cheat and build up uh, leg damage on the outside because all of them are just she does a move and then releases automatically they're not the cool kind of submission moves like this one where she pulls your face out of the mud because this time she doesn't want you to drown Okay, so that was fun. Let's see how much damage I've got to do before she'll stay down for three. Oh, I can't even use the move on her now. I'm trying to get her to stay down for three against my pose pin. And it's not going to happen. Let's bring your legs to near submission status again and see if that helps.
Oh, it's the NHP combo that damages the legs. That's arms, that's right. Okay, so now, like, almost every part of her body is almost destroyed. I don't think I've... Her body itself, like, as in torso, is the only thing that I don't think is, like, about to collapse. And I'm still probably not going to be allowed to pin her with this. If and I'm going to make this video over long. If this doesn't do it, folks, I'm just not going to be able to do it. I mean, I could keep at it, but if there, yeah, it'll, it'll screw up my my plan to get four videos like I've done for everything else. <sighs> so I'll just get her to submit, and I'll call it a day. Alright, time for you to drown, bitch. <laughs> it's like I submit rather than die. Now, loading the Spencer. She'll probably be the next person we play as by uh, process of elimination. Damn, punk. This swimsuit costs a fortune. It costs more than her it. house. Well, she doesn't probably own her own home, but. Oh well, I'm sure glad I made that poor Wonderful. person feel inferior. Quite the celebrity. You and that mud would make a great photo shoot. Uh, what the hell? Who the hell are you? You looking for a fight? No, I'm looking for you to be covered in mud and sexy. Not. I'm Anesthesia, assistant and nurse to Lady X, the CEO. It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, Lady X is supposed yeah, to own this thing? Show. Well, thank you for offering me a hand out. Oh, so cold. I love like you. Don't go ruining that magnificent body of yours on me. I wasn't going to use Take my body care. on you, actually. But... Something's going wrong. <laughs> Damn, what was up with that? Gee, she's creepy, but at least she didn't insult my dead mom and say she's in hell. Although, she probably is. <laughs> it's so hard on Dad. First he got sent to San Antonio and then... Oh, sorry, I was making a bore backstory. Miss Aisha. Uh, yes. Hey everybody, you it's a you. Aisha, correct? My students are all quite big fans of yours. That's fantastic, Could I but... Could please have your autograph? Whatever. Who are you? <clears throat> oh, my apologies. I am Miss Spencer, and... And Ms. I wear a really tight class. school girl, or school teacher outfit. As her teacher, I have come for revenge. And your autograph. Oh, now I'll see what's up. Well, bring it on! You mean, bring it on, Miss Spencer? Uh, yes, Miss Spencer! What? Excellent. Actually, you mean, um, hate fight me. I don't know what you mean, but bring it on really isn't very good grammar, I don't think. I ain't so sure. Yeah, that was, uh, weird. So you came to, uh, revenge that little poor girl who I beat up. Well, you are a teacher, which means that if anything, you must be even poorer than she is. Ah, hates poor people. But I love missing my attacks. Alright, let's, uh, work on the arm this time. Why not? You know what? I have to finish this quickly. It took way too long before. So I need to, like, not waste a lot of time here. Um, that wasn't even a... That was, what the heck kind of attack was that? Aisha, why do you suck so much? Alright, I said I wasn't going to waste time, and now I'm going to go get the tickle stick, because I've realized that there's a huge number of people whom we've never heard laugh all sexily. Inappropriate! <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Ever seen that uh, Conan O'Brien sketch from way back when on Late Night where it was like the inappropriate channel or something? No? Okay. I'll take your word for it. 
Oh great, now she's gonna beat the crap out of me on the outside using cheating tactics. And I've got no one to blame but myself. Irony. Ebony and irony, because I might be black and she's ironic. Alright, this is not going as planned. Luckily, once she's humiliated, two H moves should uh, take out her legs and cause her to submit, even if she hadn't damaged them at all up to that point. And, uh, yeah, she's pretty much humiliated. And you wouldn't you be. If you were a teacher and you were forced to become a professional wrestler to avenge a student who doesn't even like you. Uh, already there, way ahead of you. Maybe not. Yeah, uh, scratch that. Two H moves in a row isn't enough to do it when I have done a sufficiently crappy job of softening up the legs. Oh well. Why use fancy finishers when your regular moves can get the job done? Now loading, a ninja. I am a ninja, this is my music. I'm gonna do this. Oh, Tad, I'll fight you now. I just checked the schedule. You're off to fight Rago tomorrow, ain't ya? I'm surprised you know how to read schedules, you dumb bitch. That's what it says. After tomorrow, I'll be whistling for Dixie. What does that mean? You need to worry about me, not Rako. She'll be dead Let's by tomorrow. I have to fight Rako. That's the whole reason I'm here. Well, the whole reason I'm here is to fight you. I wonder what Rako first thinks. First things first. I got to put my boot upside Rako's head. And also, get your ass out of the camera. You got something to say? Say it in the ring. And make sure to have a strong twang when you say it. Aisha, why do you hate me so much? Is it because of the swirlies? I know I gave you a lot of swirlies back in our school days, but you gotta let it go. Oh, you're Rako. The one hee haw was getting all excited about. What is this hee haw oh. you speak of? Never mind. Nothing against you, but I'm taking you down. By the way, as someone from Georgia, I am deeply, deeply racist. My Sorry, folks, they put the stars well, and bars in their flag in the 60s. It's uh, probably not girl. actually right. Probably the 50s and 70s or something. Be ready. I'm a samurai. Please don't beat the crap out of me. Yeah, folks, I don't really want to offend anybody from Georgia, but they had a flag that did not feature the stars and bars, and then they added it to their flag in the 20th century, basically to protest the Jim Crow laws being taken away. So, you know. That's why there was this fabulous picture on the onion once that said Georgia adds swastika middle finger to flag, and they photoshopped it in, and it kind of fit. But at any rate, that's uh, that's not what we're about. We're not about insulting Georgia folks. We're about beating the crap out of samurai, which uh, Reiko is apparently, according to Dixie, who is retarded. So uh, when we come back, we're going to take out Reiko, then we're going to fight Dixie a couple times, and hey, you know what? I can't help but think that Lady X might get involved at some point. But the only way for you to know for sure is to stay tuned for future videos. We'll see you in the future.